Cisco FTD Network Discovery gives the capability to collect data on your organization's network, which hosts exist on your network, IP address and MAC address of host, operating system running on each host, and also services, clients, and web applications running on each host are the most important information retrieved by Network Discovery feature. Network Discovery is not just for monitoring network traffic, but we can also later predefine a host profile and then compare if any hosts on your network are violating the profile. To create a discovery rule, just go to policies and then network discovery. Then add rule. I've already created one rule. Through discovery rules, I specify which networks and ports to monitor to generate discovery data and zones to which the policy is deployed. You can configure also whether host applications and non-authoritative users are discovered. You can exclude some network and zones from discovery. Users are discovered based on the protocols listed in the users tab. The option that are usually changed in advanced tab is to enable the capture banner by default it is disabled, which monitors the header of protocols like FTP and Telnet to get user OS and some other information. You can also give your custom topology information from custom topology menu i've created already raika topology with two network lands with ip address 192.168.1 and management network 192.168.200 you can list all your network in the list so you can later monitor based on your topology in analysis, host and network map, you can monitor information based on host or based on topology. Based on topology, based on host. For example, 192, 168, 1, 117, which is a computer behind Cisco FTD. Information can be discovered passive or active. With passive monitoring, only traffic passing through FTD is monitored. But with active monitoring, you can scan host by Nmap tool to discover more information. As you can see, discovered information is classified in a few sections. Above, you can see the IP address and also the MAC address. The operating system information is displayed here. It may gather information which cannot decide about the operating system. So it is named operating system conflicts. You can give the operating system manually by edit operating system. For example, Windows 7 Ultimate is my operating system. And then finish. I've changed the operating system from Citrix to Microsoft Windows 7 Ultimate. With the user admin, it is automatically detected. In the server sections, it lists the services which the host listen on and the details of the services, for example, FileZilla for FTP server and Apache for HTTP server is already installed on this host. In application section, you can monitor which application are installed on the host. For example, Firefox 
and Windows Update. In the vulnerability, you can see vulnerability, but it is actually not dynamic. It is based on the operating system it is detected and based on the protocols, operating system and the services which is running on the host. And in scan results section, you can monitor information actively retrieved by Nmap. This section is displayed only when Nmap is already active for the host. To enable Nmap, go to the policy and then action and then scanner, you can configure a new Nmap instance with a specific parameters to scan a range of IP addresses. I've already created a scan just to check. These are the parameters that I can choose or change for my scans. I've not changed any settings and all of the settings are default. And then you can start a scan for a range of IP address. For example, for the range of 192.168.10.24, it takes some time to be a scan. So after a while, probably you see some new information in the analysis and network map. After scanning, probably new information is uh, listed here. If it is not already scanned, you can also monitor based on host or based on applications. For example, based on applications, you can see in which host telnet services is already installed. In these three hosts, telnet service is already installed. 